Hi, I'm Rob. Hi, I'm Sherry. And this is our cat, Lily. This is Cinder. We've got the truck. We've got the trailer. And we're ready for our RV travel class. So this is what we're talking about, getting out of the RV and seeing what's around us. Unfortunately, I'm using the wrong camera, but behind us, there must be at least a dozen blue herrings up in these trees behind us, just waiting for the tide to go out. And it's, uh, it's really cool, and I wish I would have brought a different camera, but my best suggestion is get out of the house and get in your RV and go uh, out in the winter time and find out that there's lots of things to see even up in Washington State. So. Look up. <laughs> and look up. Walk around. So, do you remember what the name of this park, this trail is called? Thompson Trail. It's actually not very old, but uh, it's here in Anacortes. I gotta tell you, this is like the perfect day. It's like winter time. It's cool. No wind. Water's like glass. And it's a perfect time to do a walk in this trail. And this kind of weather is kind of rare in Washington. <laughs> Wouldn't you say? Yeah. So, anyway, we're just taking a walk down here. Now, uh, there's not only good bird life here, but there's also a couple of eagles that live up here, so we haven't seen those yet. But it's amazing because if you look in front of us, which I'll turn the camera in a minute. We're right across the bay from a refinery. It's kind of hard to believe, but I'm going to turn the camera and you can see what we see. A big old refinery around there. It's amazing how they protect this place. Hi. Hi there. <laughs> you also have to be careful not to get ran over by your bicycles. <laughs> so anyway, you get a chance to come down here to Fidalgo Bay and in the quarters Washington. Bring your rig down for a couple of days. Winter time's great. Hopefully you'll get some weather like this. I can't help but just say how beautiful it is. Anyway, come on down. About, uh, they had a winter storm here in uh, Washington. It was a high tide and super high wind. And so there's kind of a protective barrier along this trail. Just to give you an idea how much uh, wind and power and, and the water came through here you can see this chair behind us that was level we used to sit there a lot anyway so apparently it's going to be out of commission for a while by the way behind us is uh not only water but that's the san juan islands too and uh, you can see anacortes way back there too so uh there's no lack of things to do here Part of this trail also was a robo trestle. It was like three years ago or four years ago, they rebuilt it. What? Oh. Anyway, three or four years ago, they rebuilt this as a walkway across the uh, bay here to the other side by the refinery, which is another bike area to ride around. Anyway, it's pretty fun to walk on. So along the way here, we have uh, little information stations that tell you about the, the wildlife, how this was built, uh, a lot of uh, feeding fish like smelt, anchovy, and some other types of herring. Uh, this is a uh, spotting ground area for them, so it's kind of interesting to read the information about this area from these boards.
go walk outside now. The sun is time to call my name. So happy now. Gotta get out. Gotta get out and get away. Gotta get away. Get away. Get away. Everybody's smiling. Sunshine day. Everybody's happy. Sunshine day. Everybody's doing uh, so happy today. It's the sunshine day. So well, that pretty much concludes our walk today. Kind of rest on our feet a little bit. And we're going to head back to the uh, RV and uh, hello. We're going to watch uh, the football game. So, uh, I don't know. Hawks. When, yeah, go Hawks. <laughs> we don't watch football that much, but we got to watch our Hawks. Anyway, have a good day, guys. Well, it's December, and uh, it's hard to believe we only have one more year left. So we are on the RV art travel quest. I want to take the time to thank the people who have been making some great videos lately. Um, RV Travel did a great one about what it's like to live in an RV, what's better than a motel, and then uh, just incredible. Been doing some really good stuff, and then uh, up in Canada. Nomadic Fanatic down in Slab City is uh, covering that area really well. Probably better than anybody I've ever seen cover Slab City. So, uh, hats off to you guys. Meanwhile, Sherry and I are starting to get the RV ready. We'll have our solar system in by April. Uh, we're going to make sure we're investing lots of money in our truck. My truck is a 2000 Ford F350 um, Dually with a uh, 7.3 7 Dually in it. Uh, not Dually, but a 7.3 diesel. So it's a good truck, but I gotta make sure it's in good shape this year. So I wanna thank everybody who's starting to uh, hook up on our channel, RV Travel Buddy and RV Travel Quest. And uh, we're going to start producing a lot more videos as we go. It's kind of hard to do at this time of year. Um, we're down in Order Anacortes right now. A beautiful day. And uh, <laughs> just enjoying it. So anyway, for all those people making videos out there, thank you. We'll keep trying to uh, advertise them for you. And uh, keep the faith and please uh, take the time to subscribe. Thank you. So one of the other things we're doing this year is we're making uh, RV Travel Buddy uh, stuffed chocolate labs. Anyway, not real ones. Anyway, we have cute little stuffed animals coming with a scarf that says RV Travel Buddy and uh, another one with a collar. And as soon as those come in, we'll show them to you. We also have new shirts coming in. And uh, um, I think some of them are blue. And I wish I can get the cost down a little bit. We need to order a lot more. but. Uh, We'll do the best we can to get them priced well. We won't make a lot of money on them, but uh, they're nice shirts. Uh, I prefer to get polo shirts with pockets. So uh, that's why our shirts tend to be a little more expensive than just a t-shirt. Um, the other thing is, is just like the rest of them, um, anytime you can give us a donation to help out with RV Travel Quest. Uh, lots of money being spent. Um, good equipment, good cameras. Uh, we're even doing uh, this year. Uh, Sherry and, my, and myself are both doing school, and uh, sorry about that. The dog hit that. But we're both going to school for photography. Try to do a better job. And uh, so the expensive year, getting all of our equipment ready. That's why we're still employed. But uh, uh, the end of December, I retire from where I'm at, and uh, Sherry and I will hit the road. So we want to thank everybody for following us and once again. Take the time to subscribe. If you don't mind, donations always helpful. And uh, we'll continue doing the best job we can. So thank you.